Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bonds. In this video, we are going to learn about the input methods that are available in UiPath Studio. In our last video, we have learned about various input activities that are present in UiPath Studio and its properties, right? Say for example, click activity, type into activity, uh, keyboard shortcuts, say send uh, hotkeys. So all these types of uh, input activities we have learned in our previous video. Now let us see in detail about the input methods. Input methods or the methods available in the UiPath Studio which, which tells the activities how to provide the data to UI elements, how to pass input data to UI elements. UI elements in the sense the elements which are available in the UI user interface application. Right? Whenever we are passing some data to any of the applications, we need to give some instructions to the executor. Executor is nothing but our bot. We need to give the some instructions. You are supposed to go in this way. No, you are supposed to go in that way, that path. You are, you are supposed to follow this protocol, this process, right? Such instructions are nothing but the methods. We have some different methods in UiPath Studio. One is simulate, simulate, click or type into or mouse over and all. Okay. Next one is send uh, window messages. Okay. And the third one is send window messages and uh, the um, third one is hardware events okay by default default method default input method for all the activities is hardware events okay whenever we need to shift whenever we want to shift it to some other input methods we are supposed to change it by default it comes up with hardware events now let's see what the simulate click and what send how window message and hardware events when to use this and what are the difference between these three methods okay it's pros and cons that means it's strength uh, strong points and the limitations of this in detailed way okay now uh, before going to this i'll show you in our um, studio on live where we can see the so see by default it has selected hardware events now we we can see different uh, modes different methods here okay say for example even in type into activity we have some different input methods out of this let us see the differences between these three methods okay how it works first one simulate click or simulate type or simulate hover this particular method works based on the technology which is used by the target application so it uses the technology which is used by the target application okay say for example api level etc right and hardware events it takes the keyboard driver or it goes with the mouse cursor right so it, it completely depends on the hardware hardware events the name specifies the meaning right it, it gives the exact meaning so uh, whenever uh, we want to pass some uh, data, whatever in whatever activity we perform through our keyboard or mouse cursor, the same thing will be repeated. Okay. So for example, clicks and types and cursor moves. Okay. Uh, I can give it here okay fine now send window messages what it will do is it will replay the action items performed 
while selecting the target UI elements. So whatever actions we perform on uh, target elements, the same thing it will replay. Window messages. Okay. This is how it is going to work. Okay. So now let us see some other difference on in terms of speed. Which one is reliable in terms of speed? Which one is fast? Okay. So simulate click type is the fastest method. Okay. So choose fast and hardware events is slow. Send window message is default. It's like moderate one. Okay. Now how, how it is going to run whether it is a for, foreground or background. Let us see the running mode. So simulate click will work on runs on background whereas hardware events it runs on foreground when it runs on foreground you can directly say like attended user is not supposed to use mouse or keyboard right during bot execution if, he, if the user tries to use mouse or keyboard during when bot is running, a bot may fail, right? Because it is completely depending on the drive, keyboard and mouse cursor moves, right? So, this is how it works, a hardware event method. And coming to send window messages also, it works on background. So, no problem at all. Attended user, user can work in parallel. Now, let us come to strong points. Okay, before that, let me select some difference in a color. Okay, and then let me take some other color. Okay, fine. <clears throat> in parallel, let us capture the limitations too. Limitations. Okay, so now. What is the strong point of simulate type, simulate method is, uh, it can automatically erase the previous written text. So, this is going to be its strong point. So, it is nowhere available in hardware events and send outlook messages. So, it cannot automatically erase so this is going to be its limitation of hardware and send outlook okay that is the reason i am i am framing these two together strong point so this is one strong point to the simulate click type whereas it is not available in hardware and send window messages that's why it cannot automatically erase okay now let's uh, let's look on to the next one next strong point users can work in because ru runs on background right so that means users can users can run and work in parallel right so this is its strong point this is also a strong point of sand window because you could see this uh, running mode runs on background so you, this is also a strong point whereas this is going to be its weak point the limitation or hardware events okay users cannot work okay now coming to hardware events we can use can use special keys Say for example, space, tab, enter, etc. Okay. Same, same is with the uh, send window messages also. Send window messages also has the same strong point. Okay. Right. Now, um, simulate click cannot use the special keys because it is completely relying on the technology, right? 
whereas in set window and hardware it can it is going with the special keys now the limitation is it cannot use special keys right now the next strong point of hardware events is it is 100% compatibility okay whereas in simulate method compatibility is lower than the other two methods okay so this is one thing and coming to send window messages here it has one more uh, limitation that is it can work it can work with the applications which accepts window messages so this is the limitation it doesn't work on all the applications provided if the applications accepts the window messages then this method will work okay these are the main differences between uh, these three methods and how it works and so based on this and based on your um, uh, need based on your um, uh, project or your need you are supposed to decide which method to use okay i hope you got a clear information and clear uh, differences between these methods which is a very very important interview question for uipath developers so don't get confused just uh, look into the tabular format so you can keep what all uh, are needed in your mind let me use this control p so i hope you got the clear information so if you like this video please uh, do uh, share with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are a new visitor to this channel please do subscribe and click on your um, click on the bell icon and select all option thank you so much for your support we'll meet you through next videos thank you bye